Hello there and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. Chesty Puller here with another video for War Commander. This is a Shadow Ops 5 base, the current base. Zero damage and uh, I do it in uh, two attacks. It can be done in one. It's just uh, kind of a large area to cover uh, and uh, it takes uh, some time to move around because it's a very large <coughs> map on this particular base. The base is not hard, it's just kind of uh, spread out and you have to do a few things to get to get through it without any damage. I'm starting out here making a protected zone for myself and uh, staying back behind the aura of my Dark Storm. Um, <clears throat> I'm using the Dark Storm primarily and uh, my uh, Delta team and uh, Kayla. As I usually say, if you don't have Kayla, Lightbringers will work. The only difference uh, between a Lightbringer and Kayla is that Kayla is got a lot more firepower. So Fireteam Delta, I'll show you how I have it uh, workshopped, basically I have uh, it fully workshopped. I wanted to take out that, that one uh, turret, but I have to take out the other helicopter before I take out that second turret. So it's just a process, like uh, most of my videos, it's just a process of slowly moving forward, staying behind your protected zone, <clears throat> and bringing forward the units that you need. I'm using three technical X's and one Phobos. I use the Phobos because it has much more range than the technical X's, and you'll see here that there's a one spot where I use the Phobos all by itself <clears throat> to get a uh, an anti-air turret a heavy flak now you don't need to use Orions here you could use um, Dopplers Dopplers turn around quicker and if you get in trouble um, your uh, Orions will get damaged but with your uh, with your Dopplers, you can turn around and get out of the way because uh, they're faster than the helicopters. The only thing that's really going to harm your uh, your uh, Orions is the motorcycles and the helicopters. So just stay away from the uh, helicopters. That's for sure. To draw out the motorcycles in the back, you'll see that I'm going to, uh, to use a hoplite. Uh, it takes a while to kill that turret, and the reason I'm not uh, <coughs> killing the um, the support turret behind it is because if I do that, then I'll be too close. So I'm staying. Um, I'm am just killing the turret slowly. If you get the support turret, you get in the range of the Overwatch. So it takes a second for the support turret to die. Now. Um, now we're good to go. I'm going to come over here to the left, cause a distraction, throw up my, uh, my hunter decoy, and bring in my uh, Kayla to take out the Overwatch. You just want to make sure that you have a decoy there because that, <coughs> that uh, helicopter will like to come after your Kayla or your, or your Lightbringers. Now we got rid of that helicopter. Now this side of the base over here is pretty, pretty safe. Not too much going on over here anymore. I think I'm running out of time here. <coughs> running low on time. See what I'm talking about by, I'm, I'm moving pretty quickly, but the base is large and they only give you seven minutes. If this was uh, a normal, um, Shadow Ops 5, they would have given me, you know, 14 minutes or something, and then you could do it in one attack. But because they did this particular 
Shadow Ops 5 in seven minutes. It's just not enough time. So uh, I'm going to come in here. This is with my uh, attack move. And so they'll stop and attack anything on the way. Now I'll take out that second turret because if you remember we did take out that helicopter a second ago. We drew it out and it came over. Uh, I wasn't even planning on trying to draw it out, it just, it just came out on its own. While you're here your Orion should easily outrange those uh, uh, robot uh, infantrymen. So really, <clears throat> at this point, the only thing that's really left is a couple of these helicopters and the, uh, and the rail guns that are of any concern. You gotta clear out the, uh, the motorcycles so that you can bring in your Orion and take out the rail guns. So what I do is I bring my hoplite in and I draw out the helicopters. Uh, excuse me, the uh, motorcycles. Now I can take out the first rail <coughs> with my Orion. Move forward. Got that the second railgun there, and uh, I'll use the hoplite again to draw out the last helicopter. But you know what I do is I—you'll notice—I set up my uh, my trap first. The trap is going to kill this helicopter. And I'm drawing out these last few robots. And at the same time distracting them so that my Orion can come in and <clears throat> do its work. I'm going to leave the antenna there because um, I'm giving this base away to somebody. So um, that's it. Hope this was helpful. There's the antenna. And. Uh, One Phobos, three Technical X's, <clears throat> Dark Storm, Hunter, Fireteam Delta, Kayla. All right, guys. Hope this was helpful. Have a good time. See you next time.